And um, I think as Phil mentioned, as far as we know, this has never been done before. And poor Kwong does, he thinks I'm a crazy woman. I came up with this uh, idea a few months back and I said, if anyone can do this, it's the two of these artists who have such admiration for each other's work. They've painted never on one canvas before together. But if anybody can do this amazing feat, it's the two, these two artists. So we're going to let them go at it. So and Kevin's going to paint the high spots and I'm going to paint the lower part of the <laughs> Immediately there's a technical problem. Because, because his perspective is a whole different composition than my perspective. <laughs> we didn't think about that. So, um, first of all, when we when I set up a still life in the studio, usually I have one light source on it because that makes it more poetic and more beautiful. But here we have spotlights coming from every which way, which 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 then kind of isn't really about the lighting anymore, right? It's about it's about local tone, yeah. It's color and structure. Like you taught them well. So yeah, so it's really about shapes. It's not about light. In this case, you can't be painting about light. Um, and so the, the most difficult part then I mean not most difficult part, but then the real question is is structure and composition. Where do you go with that? And Kevin's so good with that, I'll let him start with that. <laughs> Well, so we'll, we'll just switch off and... Blame it all, we'll, it. No, no, no. <laughs> if, it's, if it's that, you just keep changing all <laughs> that. What I say about painting is that... Um, if you if you pick... Is that not high enough for you, Kevin? <laughs> Feel free to raise it. Uh, uh, if, with painting is that if you make a decision, it's always right. Right? If you don't make a decision, it's, that's where it's wrong. So, whatever decision you make, I'm sure it's the right one. structure of the painting. It could go anywhere yet. It could be a it could be a Van Gogh, it could be a Deacon Corn, it could be a, 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 a Monet, it could be a Van Gogh, it could be a sergeant, it could be a Deacon Corn, it could be a wet pot, it could be a wet pot. I shouldn't have had that second glass of wine. <laughs> 
Kevin established a really beautiful quality to a paint, so I'm at, you know, I get to play with that quality of paint, which is fun.
have some dark umber color, probably burnt umber, <coughs> and uh, transparent red oxide, and yellow ochre, etc. But I don't ever have a set palette. <coughs> I'm totally open to playing with, with whatever colors yeah. is there. <coughs> I think Kevin's that way too, right, Kevin? Yeah, I'm that way. I forget what my latest new color, favorite color was. Some weird color. <laughs> Yeah. Pain's gray of some sort. Oh, I loved it. There's no see. There's no such thing as a muddy color. That's right. Um, it, it depends on what you put it next to. It. Yep. And the the, mm -hmm. the biggest reason for muddy color is not that the color is a is a bad color. It's that it doesn't have shape. That's the secret. That's uh -huh. first. Yeah. Yeah. So I tell everybody. There's actually three things to create muddy color. First thing is shape. Yeah. First thing that you have to look for is yeah. shape. Shape, is shape, shape. Shape. Shape is everything. Then if shape is okay, then then it may be the value. Right. And the value is off. And the last thing is color. Right. So I, you know, when I talk about it, it's, it's shapes, value, color, then texture, and then. Yeah. So if you have your shape, you can give that shape any value. If you have your value, you can imagine that value being any color. You know, and then once you have the color, you can build that color up with many different colors to get that color. You know? So it makes a lot of sense. What was the last thing? Uh, edges. Oh, it edges. Only of, uh, when he spends more time mixing than putting paint on the canvas. Seriously. <laughs> you said that's how you know he's good? Yeah. The good artist will spend all this time mixing, mixing, and then the flip. So that means that the brush strokes are really deliberate. I think just changing the color shift is kind of interesting. 
that's a different shape. It's got a different gray paint, different structure. I kind of like this violet that was down in there. I thought you need something color-wise to kind of bring your eye down a little bit. It kind of anchor those colors. So now we're just sitting on the top. Well, I'm part change that. We'll see. <laughs> It's all about shapes. If I, you notice here in this, what I'm doing, just that one stroke, you see this shape emerge. I'm actually painting that shape as much as I'm painting the shape behind it and here, which is a different value note. When, when, when I know when to stop in the painting is that every single shape is individual. There's no more shapes that I can put down. If I do it, you stop repeating yourself with shapes, but I know it's done. So, right now, and it could, it, that could start and end with three simple shapes in a painting. But in this case, we're going to break it down into like areas like this. When I'm doing a painting, a still life in my studio, I literally see every single petal. I don't, you know, and, and see how, not only that, but see how it relates to every other single petal. So, so that becomes a really beautiful small shape. And then there's another little shape. Um, and, and then painting at this point becomes about breaking down the painting into more and more shapes like that. Until you get to a point where you oversaturate and the shapes begin to, instead of supporting one another, they take away from one another. Okay, hand it off. See, I had no idea how he was going to start this composition, but I really like the way Kevin did it. I never would have thought to, you know, zoom in on it that much. I probably would have tried to pull back, but I think that's really effective. <laughs> I don't think there is it. I don't think there is it. I don't think there is it. I mean, is it. I mean after, yeah. after a while, when you start thinking, what can I do? It's pretty much there. It is oh, there. I like it. I like it a lot. signature from the two yeah, on this painting because we are going to auction this painting off in the next few minutes.
people behind.